So we left a video yesterday on about 4,000, 3,500 coins. And we also had a whole transfer list of stuff ready to sell. Looking at it today, we've got everything sold, except for one item, I think. Everything's gone eventually. I had to re-lower the price of some, relist some of them, but everything has gone. We do only have 49 coins left, however. And the reason for that is I've been playing around with the squad builder challenges again. So the first squad builder challenge we did was the five league hybrid. For it, we get a premium gold pack, a 7.5k pack. So to make it worth our while, we don't really want to be spending more than maybe three, 4,000 coins just to guarantee profit. In total, the lowest on foot bin was about four and a half, five thousand. 5,000. But just using a bit of common sense, like using a couple of gold players, allows you to put a load more bronzes in and it just brings down the overall cost. So this one cost us, we spent 350 on the keeper, 400, that's like 750, 900. That was a first owner, so it's not costing us anything. Again, another first owner, not costing us anything. Another two, so that's 1100, 1250, another first owner, another first owner. That one puts it up to 1400, and that one puts it up to 1550 coins. So we completed this for an absolute bargain. So let's submit that one and claim the pack. And we'll jump into the other ones we've done. So the second challenge we did was the to the nines challenge. And the reward for this one is one jumbo premium gold pack. So I think it's still free rares, but a lot more basic gold cards, which is brilliant because they sell for us anyway. This one, we spent a little bit more. It was 350 for the keeper. The left pack was quite expensive at 600. That's 950. That's 1300. 15, uh, 1650, that comes to 2000, 2350, 2750, that puts it at 3100. We had a first owner guy here, again, no money. And then 350 and 450. So it came to about 3700, again, a lot cheaper than the cheapest options available on Footbin. The big bonus with using our first owner players are a lot of them are the untradeables that we got at the start. So they literally have no value to us other than putting them in a squad builder challenge. So let's submit that one again. The third challenge we completed was the starting 11 one. So this is the big one. This one gives us a 25k pack and it's the hardest challenge in the group. As you can see, we're a little bit low on chemistry. We still need four chemistry. So we're going to have to either play some games or use the chemistry glitch for them where we just dashboard in games. What I'm probably going to do is complete this one and complete the other hybrid one that needs the chemistry as well and then just play 20 games sub in between the two teams that'll give us games with players we'll use up the contracts on them and at the same time we're going to get all the chemistry we need so as well as the ones that we just looked at that are completed we've also bought quite a few players for some of the other challenges where we're just needing a few more to complete it which we'll buy as soon as we open these packs and get the coins We've also bought, if I remember correctly, yeah, we've got five players here to use in another one of the hybrid squad builder challenges. So we've got four more Serbian players here ready to go. But let's open those rewards and just see if we can get any luck with the packs. So firstly, we've got the premium gold pack. Just hoping for something of value here. We don't need anything massive. Just a rare gold player usually will do it. Oh, so there's a newly transferred Markovic, which is perfect, actually, because we need him for our Serbian challenge. What else did we have? We've got two silver players. Uh, Bancoma MX players in this one. We've got squad fitness. We've got contracts. We've got a marksman as well. So I'm just going to quickly list all of these up, and then we'll open the second pack. So now we've got the slightly bigger pack, the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, which is actually seven rares. I thought it was only three. But let's open this one. Hopefully we get something a little bit better than the Markovic we got on the last. We've got three rare players, which is pretty good. We've got Fenerbahce Sal. Who, he was man of the match card. What was it, a couple of days ago? God, that would have been insane for this. We've got Sani as well. We've got quite a few players in here, actually. This could be quite a good pack. We've got leg healing. Cool. Right, I'm going to list all these up, and then we'll have a look at what we've got Sani. So we just listed everything up. We've already got two quick sales with Sane and Rico. We've got a couple of players, a load of contracts, consumables, fitness, chemistry styles, everything up there at the moment. So hopefully everything will sell, if not that quickly, at least over the next hour anyway. 
keep as a quick sell card anyway. So what we're going to do now is just quickly take a look at a couple of the squad builder challenges that I'd almost completed earlier. Just to finish those off really, really quickly. So these ones here, they only give bronze pack player rewards, but they're just so easy to do. And something a lot of people don't do when they're completing these challenges is just bid on the players. So most people would jump in here, buy it for 200 and just be happy with it. If we're saving 50 coins on every single player that we do it for, on an average of an 11 player team, that's 550 coins we're saving just from bidding. It's just so simple to do as well. So we've got the same principle in this challenge as well. Half the players are from our club, just from the bronze pack method or the untradables. The other half we're just going to bid on. So we're just going to quickly find one that is going for 150 coins on the bid. Uh, like that guy there. Bid on it, win it, and save 50 coins as well. And then this one's going to give us a premium bronze players pack. So it's impossible to actually lose money on it. And then one more time, we've got this for the Triple Trouble, which gives us a two gold rare player pack. We've almost got all the people we need, we just need two more cards. That's got four minutes left on it, which is fine, we can bid on that. We've already got the left back on our transfer list from earlier. And the other two are fairly simple to pick up. And again, you just can't lose money if you're doing it like this. The whole challenge would cost you 1,650. Complete both of them, it's 3,200. You get 1,000 coins and four gold players. There's literally, even if you discard it, you're guaranteed to make at least a little bit of profit. The other one we've got in the group that we just looked at is this one, which we haven't actually bought any of the players for yet. So again, just going to bid 150 on all of them and then throw them into the team. So all the players have now, well, we didn't lose a single bid on all those players, so we've got them all in our club now. So we're just going to quickly bash through these, claim all the rewards, open the packs, then probably jump into a couple of games. So we completed the challenges, got our four packs, a uh, thousand coins as well, so we're just over a thousand again. I'm just going to open these and hope that we can pull something of a little bit of value at least. They're all bronze players packs at least, so we should be able to find something that sells. Is our transfer list actually full? That's really not ideal. Or are they just non-tradable? Oh god, these are all non-tradable. This could have been a really bad move. I got a feeling both these bronze ones are going to be non-tradable. And I got a feeling the two player packs might be untradable as well. This is not good. This is really not good. Uh, yeah, they quick sell for nothing as well. Uh, I guess we got some players that we can use for squad builder challenges, but that's definitely not why I was doing them. I'm pretty sure it doesn't make a big deal about them being untradable either, so that's really set us back, especially if these are untradable. Freshly transferred Schneiderlin might sell, if I can sell. Whew, at least I can sell these guys. Right, let me just have a quick look. What? Well, I'll put them on transfer list, I'll look after. Myron Schneiderlin. Let's just hope we get something big in this one to make up for everything. It's not a walkout. It's a tiny flare, but... Oh, Dante. I don't think we're going to make much off them, but we're not going to lose money from that one. We're just going to lose a little bit from the other one. Right, let me check what they're selling for on the stigla. Okay, cool. So that wasn't actually too bad. Uh, Maya sells for 850. We've got Schneiderlin who sells for I think about 800 he goes for. We've got Dante who's going for 1700. It might be. Uh, I'm not sure if Nisa needed for the marquee matchups. And then Ilicic was literally discard value, so we'll just discard him. That puts us on 2700, so that's not too bad at least. And we've still got a ton of stuff that's selling at the moment. Oops, something else is sold already. That puts us at 3400. So we're going to be in profit after it's all done at least. So what we'll do is we'll open a couple of bronze packs and then we'll just jump into a couple of games with our team. So if we can just get a squad fitness or something big in this. Johansson, I don't think he's going to sell. We'll quickly check these guys though. If they're not selling, we'll just store them in our club and we'll try, yeah, he's not selling. I'll try and relist them a bit later. He doesn't sell and I'm 99% sure he's not going to sell. Whoops. Yeah. I just saw the big numbers and got a little bit excited. Uh, keep the contracts as well. We'll keep the training card. 
and I can't see any of those get sold or so we'll ditch those. That was a pretty poor pack actually. Oh, we're up to 4,700. I'm guessing Dante might have sold then. I thought there was a silver player for a second. And the last Scottish, is he from Scottish League maybe? Oh, League One Scottish Prem. Oh, we've got a New York Red Bull. I don't think a right winger is going to, no, it's not going to sell. Brilliant. I'm going to check these guys again, just to make sure they're not going for anything. Nope. And I already know that he's not going to be, but we'll still check it. Just for peace of mind. Yeah, I'm not selling either. Uh, we will keep the contracts again. Oh, the rare was a manager contract. That's one of the worst rares to get. There was two really poor uh, bronze packs that we got. No fitness cards, no, no anything really. Oh, could it be from the marquee matchup team? Newcastle Jets, no it's not. It's the Sydney teams that we need. Although, he's got a bit of 150 on him. Did someone just price fix this? 10,000, 3,000. Uh, I can't see any reason he sells. I know you need players from this league for the challenge, I think. We'll just put them up for 2,200. If he sells them, I'm more than happy. Uh, these guys aren't going to sell. We'll just store them in our club. We don't need those. We'll keep the contracts as well, and we'll ditch the rest of it. Oh my god, that guy instantly sold. Okay, so I massively undercut. What did I miss? Unless that was the team in the marquee matchup, so I just really lost out on like 700 points. Which I'm hoping, we just got this guy two seconds ago. Uh, he's not going to sell in a hurry. We'll check these two. An Australian in League 2, it's not going to sell. And this guy again, he's not going to sell either. Nope. And the healing card he gets an arm healing. Nobody ever gets arm injuries. That kit's nice though. wonder if this sells. I saw the 1600 and got a little bit excited. We'll discard all of those as well. I think we've still got a couple of slots on the transfer list. So we'll just leave in a couple more. At least our transfer list gets full. Or until we literally get nothing in a pack that we can sell or do anything with. Uh, oh, Bundesliga. Bundesliga 2. And wow, this is not going great. Uh, discard. Discard, discard. I know they're going to be discard. So we'll just send them to our club. Send the contracts to our club. Aha, I think knee healings do sell. No, they don't. We'll list that for 200. We've still got five slots on our list. All of this stuff we're sending to our club will sell at some point, so it's not wasted coins. We'll just relist it and relist it and relist it till it does. But it still wouldn't hurt to get something of value from these packs. At least. I have no idea what nation this guy's from. I don't think that'll make him sell though, no. League 2. Oh. There's literally just no players of any value like, coming out of these packs. Usually you get at least one from one of the Squad Builder Challenge Leagues or something. Oh well, we're going to have a stack club of players. We'll just keep relisting and relisting them throughout the day until stuff sells. And what? I don't know what league he's from. Maybe he's from... Not the Premier Division, I was hoping. And he sells for 200, of course he does. The Polish League. Our Polish League. Denmark Island guy. Oh, is 48 low enough? He's got the weirdest head ever, it's not low enough. Uh, Super League. Keep the contracts. List the fitness. That was our first fitness card in about six packs. That's absolutely awful. As I said, these will sell for other day. I'm just going to have to sit there relisting it every hour, which isn't a problem. If you've got your phone on you or any device, you can just relist stuff constantly. It takes two seconds to hit a relist button. Oh, a Korean guy. This guy's, I don't think he's going to sell anyway. I can't see him selling. <laughs> I saw big numbers again. A center back in the MLS. Maybe. No, of course not. The MLS challenge has been out too long now is the problem. So it's very hard to get rid of those players. Of course he's not going to sell. We'll keep them all again. Keep the contracts. 
And oh, we got two bulls at least. That's gonna uh, that's gonna give us at least some money back. Yeah, we didn't lose anything except for two hundred coins on that pack. Which if we sell one of those players, we'll break even. Oh, we just haven't had one big player or one silver player or anything yet from these packs. Get a league of goalkeeper. There's absolutely no chance he'll sell. Aha! This is a better pack. Let's send those to our club. List up the fitness. And let's hope the foot healing still goes for about 800 like it did last time. No, it's plummeted. See, normally I'd say we'd hang on to this and sell at a later date, but there's going to be so many packs over the week and we need the coins so badly anyway that I think we're just going to have to list this one up and suck it up. What was the bid on that first one we saw? Is someone going to win that bid? Okay, so maybe this is where we'll look at next, is bidding on bronze. I'm pretty sure this will sell for like 500 coins when. I'll give it 650 and just see if it sells. I can't see it not selling for that much. And we'll just discard that player. There's no point in keeping him. We need a big, here we go. Left back from, uh, it's gonna be from the league we need. Is it going to be from one of the teams? Uh, Central Coast? No, I don't think that is one of them. Oh god, these guys all sell. 2000. Okay, the game just went crazy. Was the lowest bid really just 2000? But they need Australian players or something for it. Let's just list this guy for 1800. Just hope he sells pretty quickly. Well, Svenskan Championship, Japanese, no, no, we're not going to go, we'll keep them in our club, keep the contracts in the club, uh, positioning, dribbling, just discard those. Okay, well that bronze guy didn't sell that quickly. I really should check the requirements in a second just to see if they are needed. Who have we got on this one anyway? Uh, League 2, Super League Elite 2. It's 51, no, 51 is not there. Cool, we've got another fitness. Let's list that one up. Aha, we've got it. Cool, let's equip that one in a second as well. Uh, let's just quickly clear those things off our transfer list. Just so we can open a couple more packs before we jump into a game at least. I hope some of that sells when we're playing a game. But we've got tons of players in the club now that we can just constantly relist throughout the day at least. And then when squad builder challenges come around, we're going to have players that we can sell. There's, they have, they have their worth basically. They're not all going to be discard. We're just getting players from the same league constantly over and over. Uh, we'll store them in our club because I don't think that last new one sold. Something sold. I'm not sure what it was, but something sold. A rare player, centre back from. It could be Eredivisie league. It is. Let's just. He's a defender as well. Centre backs are usually rarer. Twelve hundred. <laughs> Twelve hundred, and then we see a four fifty. And a five fifty. Oh, well, we'll list him up for four hundred. Seeing as he didn't sell for the other one. I wonder if whole players are selling just because of the squad builder challenge. No, they're not. That's a shame. We could have made some decent money off him there. And we'll ditch the kits again. So we've still got two slots left, so we can still open a few more packs at least. We're just looking for like a squad, one squad fitness or something, which gives us a couple more packs to open. One healing card, one, just anything basically for Premier League player, League 2 contract contract. Okay, cool. We're going to list these fitness cards up, and then I think we're going to call it a day on the bronze packs. Just because they're really not giving out to us at the moment. Well, not for immediate return anyway. That dribbling card might sell as well, we'll keep that. Right, let me just change my kit, sort of my team, and we'll jump into a game. Right, so let's see what this guy's team actually looks like. Oh, he's got a really, really sweaty standard BPL team with Musa, Mane, Balassi, Rose. Got a lot of Spurs players in there. He did have the Spurs kit on too. And his team name's awful, it's not too Xavi. Could we meet this guy with our Serbian all-star heroes? Good tackle. Oh god, what have you done? How did that even happen? 
<laughs> I was just praising my team. Of course he dabs. Of course he dabs with this BPL team. Check back. Well one, good tackle. Nice, nice, nice. Out to the wing. And now through. Uh, oh. Nice finish. We're not going to hit him with a dab back. We're not like that. Good interception. Right, put it in the centre. And now find the free run. And smash it. Oh, there we go. I think that's his second. This guy's been incredible. Oh, we got a run down the wing. Oh, no, that's not down the wing. Oh, but that is. That is. Try and cut it across. And finish. Oh, what a finish. That was placed absolutely perfectly. Right, so we get to half time with possession straight down the middle. He's literally only had his one shot on goal. And that went in, obviously. Followed by the dab and the full replay watch. So we just replied with scoring three. I want to get a rage quit out of this guy. That barge there should have had him off the ball, but that's awful decision. Okay, so he just watched the full replay of it and then took ages to take the penalty <laughs> and then he gets it saved. Win the header, nice. Now just go over the top. That could be the keepers. Win the header again and strike it. Oh, you cannot stop that. Okay, so he's just paused it. We could actually be getting the 60 minute rage quit against Musa, which always feels so good. It is. God, that feeling never gets old. We absolutely dominated him anyway. I think he had about four. He had three shots on target. We actually had a lot more possession than us, but he was just reckless. So we're just jumping straight back into another game while stuff sells. We're using our Serbian team still, and we come up against another really strong. Syria A, well, Calcio A team. He's got Kuovali in defence, who's an absolute rock. Jekyll up front, Muriel. This will be tough again if he knows what he's doing. Win. Good win. Now break. You've got to be on side this time for once in your life. That's so good. And finish. Oh, it's a beautiful finish as well off the post. Right, so we go into half time. It's been really, really close, actually. We've only had but one shot on target. Possession's been fairly even. Pass accuracy, everything pretty much the same, but we've got the lead. Let's see if we can keep it this way. That is an absolute beautiful ball. It's not possible to miss. <laughs> as I said that, I thought I'm going to miss this. So that game definitely wasn't as close as the stats suggested. The first half was fairly even, but the second half, it wasn't even close. We absolutely destroyed him in every way. I don't think he had a proper shot on target, at least. So we're jumping into the third game with this team. It's probably the last one we can play before we put fitness on or get a second team. But I coming up against another really strong, really sweaty BPL team with Mane, Rashford, uh, what's his name, Wilson? Is that Wilson? I think it is anyway. Morales, Rose, Coleman, Matip, Karius. And then he's just got a random non-BPL centre back in there. Okay, I'll take it. He got a yellow card from it. Oh, I hate penalties so much. We're going to go top left. Oh, it went down the middle. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Well, one. Look it forward. And again. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. And you've got to finish that. And he does finish that. Right, we've got time. We're going to play it back. And round. And again. And through the middle. Oh, what are you doing? What even was that? We still got it though. Okay, I don't really know where I'm going to go here. Like that works, and then that works as well. And that works, that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, is it? This could be one more goal before half time. It is one more goal. What a finish. So, as you can see on the stats, that we absolutely destroyed him in that game. Well, that half even wasn't even close. Oh, this could be it actually. He could be either changing his centre backs around or leaving. There we go. We pick up another three points. And again, it wasn't a particularly difficult game. Our Serbia team is just too good. He only had one shot, no possession, no accuracy on anything. So after those games, we're back up to eight and a half thousand coins. We've actually had quite a lot of stuff sell. So we've had our healing card sell. Contracts have been selling. See, all contracts sell. They're always worth listing. Uh, sell, sell. Leg healing sold. These Australian players did sell, well at least a couple of them sold anyway. 
What else have we got still going? We've still got a few bronze ones going at the moment. And we've got all of this that didn't sell, which we'll just relist straight up. Which leaves us with what, four or five spaces on there. Oh, eight spaces. We'll open a few bronze packs and then list it up and then call it a day. So the first bronze pack gives us championship hull. What are the two teams that are needed? I don't think that's needed anyway. Super League, isn't that one of the ones that are on at the moment? It doesn't matter if it is, it doesn't sell for anything. Let's keep the contracts again. And that kit is disgusting. I wonder if that kit sells. No. We'll just open these until the transfer list is full. So maybe like five, six packs at most. And then we should be good to leave them to sell over the next couple of days. Well, the next day probably. Uh, we don't need any of those players again. Keep the contracts. We'll list up this one. That's half a valuable pack back, so you can't really complain when you open the fitnesses. We've got seven slots left on the transfer list as well. The big problem I'm having with the transfer list is I've got to keep stuff on there just to show you guys what's sold. Whereas you can obviously delete them as you go, so you can list a lot more over a day than I can. Which makes it a lot easier for you to do this. Uh, keep those in the club, none of those are going to sell, as far as I know anyway. I will double check them all tomorrow when I've got a little bit of downtime. Uh, list that one. Train. We'll keep the training anyway. And we'll just quick sell the rest. We've still got five slots on there. So we still open a couple more. We just need one decent player. Well, we had a couple of the Australian players. Just one more big player, though. Uh, the Irish guy might sell with Thingy coming up. St. Patrick's Day. So we'll keep him. We'll discard the rest of it again. So we're down to 7,000 coins now. And still nothing from that pack went on the transfer list either. And I've got a feeling nothing from this pack's going to go on the transfer list. Super League, a right back. Who sells for nothing. Uh, Pro League, striker, I already know he sells for nothing. And the Japanese guy obviously isn't going to sell. Uh, nobody ever gets head injuries. That pace card might sell, so we'll keep that one in our club. Okay, let's open just, I think, maybe two more. That should fill the list, at least. Uh, League One right mid, Bristol Rovers player. Oh, I saw the big money, and I really thought he was going to sell him. He got my hopes up, stupidly. Uh, contracts, arm healing, and another ball. Quick sell of that. Jeez, we've still got five slots. We're literally getting nothing that we can list up in these packs. What's in this one? It's going to be Scottish Prem. God, again, nothing that sells. Is there a Pro League SBC out at the moment, or am I just imagining it? We did get a shed load of contracts. List the fitness again. And there we go. It is usual just to get some bad streaks with these bronze packs as well. So if you don't open anything in a while... It doesn't mean the method's not working, it's just averages. you just got to wait a bit longer, open a few more packs, and just relist the stuff you've got a few more times. We're getting all these Premiership Bronze players, which I feel like could be used for something down the line, maybe. And we're getting quite a lot of the bulls as well, which give us like 30 or 40 coins a pack. A bull, sorry. So it pays like a tenth of a pack. Rios. What have we got in here? Uh, nope, again, none from the challenges. Three contracts, another ball. That Walsall home kit is horrible. So we've used like 4,000 coins in those. We've probably opened about 10 of these packs. And we've picked up nothing noticeable anyway. Oh, we've got a squad fitness in this one, which is huge. Of course, you don't sell at the moment. We'll list all of these ones because they will sell eventually. They're always needed, and a squad fitness. I'm not sure how much these are going for, just because of all of the... Uh, let's list it up at 800. All the packs that have been opened at the moment, but that should get a fairly quick sell on it. Uh, let's open one more. We just skip the animations now, just to speed up time a little bit. 
Okay, so we got RSL player, Pro League player, and another whole player. Which I really thought the whole players would be selling with the marquee matchups out, but I guess you need gold quality. And I mean, it's not like they're short on them. I wonder how much this silver pace card sells for. Okay, so it might actually sell for like four, five hundred. It's disgusting that these are the ones that sell. Let's lift that for five hundred. That's a huge pull from that pack. And we still got the other one like stored in the club that we didn't use before. Uh, let's send those away and open one more pack. Whether we get anything good or not, I think this will be our last one. And we have got absolutely Kaylee 2, Kelsey OG, and Saudi player. A few contracts. Okay, that pack was absolutely awful. We'll just do one more. We've got to end on a high at least. Or at least a semi high. Is it rare at least? No, it's not rare. What do we have? League 2, Saudi. Oh god, that was awful again. You know what? I'm going to send that one to my club. And I'm going to open one more. I really want to just end with one, not huge pack, just something decent. Something that will get us at least 400 coins. Like this pack. Basil. He looked really fast at least. 87 pace. He's rapid. He doesn't sell, but he's rapid. And we've got a Spurs, an American Spurs player as well. I wonder if something stupid like that might be needed in the Squad Builder Challenge. And two fitness cards. That's good. That got us the value of the pack back there. So we'll list up one of them. Send the rest to the club and list those up tomorrow. Discard the rest. So we're sitting on 3,500, well basically 3,500 coins. And a transfer list that is absolutely full. Nothing sold, but it's absolutely full at the moment. And I'll keep relisting stuff on that tomorrow until everything sells and we'll see where we stand, work on a couple more SBCs and move on from there.